turned out awesome sounds really good the acoustics in here are not ideal uh, but all things considered I'm very happy with how this turned out Our effects are just ripping through the room hard-hitting bass let me give you an overview of what we got here guys all right so right here at the front of the room we got our beautiful 640d from Klipsch and the TV is a Sony 75 inch, and this is the 900F series. Looks really nice on this stone fireplace. Guys killed it. We got our 180 RPCs. Everything's from Klipsch in this hole. And those are, well I say everything, most of the things are. And then we got our rears, 180s. So this is a 5.1 system. Very typical for a living room. And then this is a in-ceiling, which we had to retro-wire in, um, a in-ceiling episode dual 8-inch sub. And it's actually hitting a little too hard. It's rattling this can, so we're gonna need to get up in there and soundproof that a little bit. But it sounds awesome. Grayson, you like it? I approve. <laughs> cool. All right, we're about to have the Sonos hooked up, and then we will show you what that sounds like as well. Your room, your kitchen, your master bath, your master bed, your patio, and your rock speakers. So, do you want to get started by adding a music service? Sure, we can do Spotify. Okay. So you go over here to more and add music services. You have Spotify. There's tons of options. Uh, we'll do Spotify. You're going to add it to your Sonos, and then you're going to have. Do you remember your login? That's the next tricky question. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hardest part. <laughs> All right, we're getting pretty close to the distributed audio uh, demo, guys. I just wanted to let you know what's going on. Grayson is in the other room, actually out on the patio right now, educating the customer on the different ways you can configure the system. It's pretty complex. There's a lot of different uh, varieties and different scenarios that uh, you can play out. So he's going through probably 10 to 15 of those. Uh, as an example, you can be having the audio from the TV in the master bathroom playing in the master, or sorry, the audio from the TV in the master playing with the master bathroom, but you can also have the TV going in the master bed and have the master bath playing music completely separate. You can have a different song going in every single zone of the house. You can also group the audio from the living room together with the rest of the home when you're entertaining. You can have the living room playing audio separate from outside on the patio. So. That's just a couple uh, of the ways that you can configure it, but those are some common ways uh, to give you some ideas. Uh, but in just a minute, as soon as um, everything, uh, the customer has a, a, a grasp on how the system works, I'm just gonna walk you through and show you uh, everything playing at once. All right, guys, late, late night here. 
on this home, we were able to complete pretty much everything. We're gonna have to do a little follow up with the customer for a couple items. One of the items being this entryway right here. A very, very, very nice entryway. And we don't have any speakers in the ceiling. Uh, apparently the guys had some issues with uh, the ladder and the positioning with these uh, chandeliers here. So that is going to be on the follow up as well as the uh, access point on this side of the house, which came defective from the manufacturer. So. Uh, Wi-Fi is crucial to its system operating uh, effectively, let's just say that. Um, their Harmony remote isn't working as well as I'd like it to, but he still has his phone control, which is working awesome. But um, we still have one access point over here, and we have the, the main router, which is performing uh, very well. Everything is operational. I'm going to show you the Sonos system. Um, so the customer does have the ability to control all of the other rooms other than the entry way right from their phone. And here comes Grayson, hey, he's guys. just uh, cleaning up the truck. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, on the phone, I'm gonna show you the rooms broken out as well as a quick little demo of each space. All right, so in the rooms, you can see I have everything grouped together right now. Now, under the volume, I'm gonna turn it down all the way in every single room. Keep in mind, you can break these out, guys, into individual zones if you'd like. A couple rooms playing one song, all the other ones playing another, or a couple songs in each room. All right, we're on the dining room. All righty, so living room sounds awesome, dining room sounds awesome. The whole point of distributed audio, guys, is that flow of audio out throughout your entire house is uh, making you feel like you're at home. So I'm going to show you out here on the patio as well, get the living room going so you can get the full experience here. I'll also turn up the uh, patio and the rock speakers. Just flows so nice, you know. No matter where you are in the house, you're just engulfed in the audio experience. Here, we got some rock speakers. See. Oh, rock speakers! We got another one over here. Rock speakers! Rock speakers are cool when you got a small little space like this. We also have like full surround systems for your backyard if you have a bigger area or if you just love your audio. But this is a good solution for the average customer. A couple rocks, a couple all weathers, eight ohm, hook it up to a sun of the sand. Just can't beat it. And don't forget your nice, uh, what is that, 75? 7900. 75 inch TV out here, 4K. Nice. Let me show you the master. Alrighty, guys. Now I am in the master bath and master bedroom. You can come right in here to master bedroom and you can crank it. Play bar is not bad. It fills the space. The customer didn't want to put anything on the ceiling because of the ship plot. Looks really nice. So we just did a play bar in here. Gets the job done. And then this is the bathroom. You can come in right to the bathroom and crank it. Very nice. Whoa. Well, this is probably my favorite room to have audio. Sonos is amazing, you can even set alarms. It's pretty cool. Um, but I religiously used the master bathroom speaker. You can turn them on every day when you're getting ready. It's awesome, you gotta have it in your life. All right, and then last but not least, we have the kitchen. All righty guys, well that is a wrap. Kitchen's really nice to have, especially when you have a big vent hood, you like to cook, you can't hear the dialogue from the TV or the music you're listening to, you can crank that up a little bit, separate from the living area so you're not blasting them out. I, I really recommend uh, kitchen speakers, fills the, the room a lot better. Well, this is an overview of what we did at this home here today, and we are gonna be back for a follow-up, but all in all, we got everything wrapped up. Um, there is one thing that I wanna show you, and that's the rack upstairs. This is what everybody's most interested in, I'm sure. We got a, a router right here. We're using the Luxel um, 3150 here. We did have to extend all these lines, guys. It was kind of a nightmare. Uh, the builder pre-wired them super short. So we used some connecting blocks here and we extended our lines down. And then uh, equipment. Okay, 
So we got a Sonos Connect, and what that's doing is that's a plug-in into our Marantz receiver. We're using the 5014 to power the surround sound system in the living room, and the Sonos Connect is plugged in as an input. You can see it's on the CD input, and we have that programmed into the Harmony to switch over to that input when they want to use Sonos in that room in conjunction with the rest of the house. These are the amps for all the other rooms throughout the entire house, including the entryway, which we haven't put the speakers in yet. Uh, we're probably gonna need a little scaffolding. They have their Apple TV here for the living room, their Harmony, and then a cable box, and everything for the theater room is terminating in the living room, uh, in the theater room. Oh, man, I almost forgot. What did I say there? Everything in the theater room is terminating in the theater room. Everything for the living room is terminating here in the closet. So this is the amp for that in-ceiling subwoofer. Guys, it is a passive sub, so it requires a separate amplifier. This is a nice little rack mountable one. It's from Episode. It's a uh, uh, EA-AMP-SUB-1D-500R. Nice glass door, keeps it all nice and clean. Can't beat it. All right guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that you found it informative. You guys worked really hard on this project. It's a cool system, it really showcases uh, Klipsch as well as Sonos and uh, the Sony TVs don't look too bad either. So that brings me to, to our last point. We guys, uh, we know that you guys love our videos. We love you, we appreciate the support. Uh, you guys are absolutely amazing. If you do need anything for your home, you know who to call. Give us a call. We got the best products, cutting edge technologies, and we're just getting better. Um, we actually have some very interesting news coming up in the next few weeks, um, and we will be informing you guys about that. So if you are not a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and give us a big thumbs up. Until next time, this is Zach with Dream Media. Thank you for watching. Got Grace in here still too. Always. <laughs> Dream Media. Later guys. Thanks.